comes to present 16 bars um normally you have um musicians um reggae artists rap artists on the show but today we have a special interview session with motivational speaker wayne dawson wayne how you doing i'm great thank you so much for having me when um we need to get right to the point um you would see over change institute you have 17 years of of youth development experience um you'd like to talk about that yeah i've been a national trainer for youth development um for several years and as a result i re recognize that there are common elements throughout this country in terms of what youth needs are and their strengths uh, and I also recognize that a lot of the caregivers of our youth have some struggle with the tools that they need to be successful as caregivers. And so what Change Institute attempts to do, or does, is we figure out that, you know, folks need the tools by which they have to raise young people and raise their awareness and help them to navigate life. And teen, being a teenager, being a young person, is a very transitional uh, period. It's, it's a period that's oftentimes described as rocky. And so what we recognize is that in terms of development and growth, we have to establish some effective tools by which you can help these young people navigate that. And what Change Institute does is we help family in terms of preservation. We help youth understand what, what they need as far as resiliency and tools to get to the next level. We help caregivers, parents, teachers, uh, nurses, uh, social workers, with understanding how they can impact young people's lives in a positive way. Wayne, I, I really have to highlight the, the, the fact that you're doing a great job in terms of helping families and caregivers because at this point, you know, so, so much has happened with teenagers that a lot of parents, caregivers are throwing the towel, so to speak. And here we are, someone with experience who, who, who understand youth. Uh, who, who's been with you to who, who, who educate you to um, who's there 17 years experience a lot of years well let me say this for example I hear parents coming to me all the time and saying look my teen at 15 wants to hang out want to stay out you know they challenge what I'm saying I would say to a parent who has a teenager that's not challenging them take them to the doctor to check if everything is okay it is a natural part of being a teenager to move away from the values that were scripted for you when you were a child you know, and your parents said, this is what you do, this is what is important. You're gonna find yourself as a teen. So it's very normal, very natural for teens to challenge you. I would say yes, if your teen is doing that, they're on the right path. But there is a way in which you can help to manage it so it doesn't become out of control. And so that's what we try to do, and I try to do, in terms of when I meet with families and do personal coaching, or if I'm in the school doing a lecture or a workshop, uh, some motivational, inspirational talk with young people. I'm trying to get them on track so that they can move with positive outcomes. I want the audience also to know that Wayne, you, you not only work with youth, but you also work with adults, uh, relationships. Um, there's some future projects too that you're working on, or some future events. You want yeah. you want to talk yeah. about that? Then? Yeah. Well, family preservation is the business that I'm in, and you know, from a personal and professional experience. I understand that the key to preserving family and relationships, irrespective of baby mama drama, as they say, you know, a male may, a father may not be in the house because he's not with the mother of his child, but that doesn't mean he doesn't get involved. And so what I'm trying to help people understand is that there are some basic and some fundamental truisms as far as relationship preservation and building for the sake of the family that you have to abide by. They are, these are just rules. And so there's a way to speak so that your significant other listens and a way to listen so that your significant other will speak. And these are some of the stuff that I will have folks moving away with as part of their toolkit to a successful relationship in the workshops and seminars. There is uh, uh, a few things lined up that um, I'll be announcing on my Facebook page very soon, starting in Brooklyn um, sometime in December. When you, you, you touch on some t at the topic about relationship that you have me moving my chair. I want to learn so much about it, you know, but you know, time, time don't permit us right now to, to do so. Um, is there um, contact information that we can re reach you? Yeah, immediately. Uh, HW Dawson at Yahoo. That cuts off everyone but gives it directly to me on my desk. 
so that I can re directly respond to you by email, H.W. Dawson, D-A-W-S-O-N, at Yahoo. And I'm on Facebook, um, Wayne Dawson. Uh, and the website, which is currently being remade or rebranded, redone, will be back up again uh, by the time we get to Christmas, as they say. Uh, you know, it would be a gift for all. Wayne Dawson, it's, it's a pleasure to have you in this show. Um, I look forward to working with you in the future. Thanks again for being on the show. Hey, thank you, man. And it's really a great pleasure uh, speaking with you. And you're doing a lot of work for the community as well. Congrats and keep it up.